My name's Tom Saxton. Um, my preferred pronouns are he and him, uh, and I'm a young person from Shepparton. Hi, I'm Jess. I'm a proud Ngunnawal woman, and I use she, they pronouns. So I started with the Youth Congress in 2020, and that was right at the start of the development of the youth strategy. And so I joined the survey implementation group, and our job was to design a survey that was an engaged fit uh, to survey young people about what they wanted the youth strategy to be and what they wanted it to reflect. We also got to analyse the data as well and that was really interesting to hear directly from young people about what they wanted the youth strategy to be and the issues that were really affecting them. As a young person who's been involved with politics, generally speaking, any kind of thing you get involved with, it's, it's not that uncommon to have a bit of a tokenistic vibe. You're, you're kind of there just to tick a box to make sure young people are there. This is completely different and it was from the very start. Um, even just you know, being in a meeting and you're, you've got young people from, from Northern Victoria, from Shepherd and my home, um, and you've got um, directors of departments, ministers, parliamentary secretaries. Those are the really key things and it's, it's not even just having them there, it's having them genuinely listen to the young people. At pretty much every step of the way Youth Congress has been involved, um, so whether it is just the design of the document, giving input on, on what young people would like to see from it, to actually helping with the consultation. I'm really excited for the implementation of the self-determination aspect of the youth strategy. I think a lot of governments in the past have talked about self-determination as working in partnership with Aboriginal communities, whereas I think self-determination is really empowering and you know, really pushing all forms of control and just getting the community to do the work themselves. Geography plays a, a significant point into the, the issues and priorities for young people. And then of course, you know, young people in Melbourne are just naturally going to have different problems to you know, whether it's a young person in Shepparton, America, wherever. Um, I think some very common themes for young people though is climate change is a pretty important issue. I think what the youth strategy is going to be able to target is mental health, uh, a multifaceted approach so that we can improve services for young people, especially in regional and remote communities. That's what we heard that a lot of communities needed, as well as things like providing more funding for sport and recreation, which are really important parts to keeping healthy and happy. What I think is really special about the youth strategy is that the Victorian government's moving beyond just giving young people a voice, it's really being able to listen to young people and practically implement what they're saying. I'm really happy with the outcome, I'm really excited to share this with young people across Victoria and get to see what they think about it and how it affects them in their community. This youth strategy just feels like a massive leap forward for all young people across Victoria um, and it's something that the department can be really happy with. It's something that all young people though should be really proud to, to look forward to what the outcomes are going to be in the next few years as well.